Stanford University. Adam is going to see a virtual world that we've built, but it's going to be projected in 3D. So he's going to wear what's called an HMD, which is a head-mounted display. That's okay. That's good. Also, they'll be getting uh, touch feedback as well. So we use what's called a haptic device. It's a setting that is in a forest, uh, so you'll see trees and hear birds. But the task that's involved is to cut down a virtual tree. Uh, you know, virtual reality is great because we can immerse people uh, in situations we wouldn't be able to normally test in a lab. The point of the tree study is to look at how different levels of immersion uh, in a virtual world, do those types of immersion in a virtual world um, carry back into the physical world? And there it goes. It was kind of strange, cutting something down that wasn't there. What we found was that only the people that were immersed in virtual reality were the ones that actually changed their behavior. So they were the only ones that actually chose to conserve more paper. Branches are crashed and scattered out on the ground. The top of the tree is just lying straight out in a field. So cutting down the virtual tree actually started to make them think about their behaviors a little bit more. So maybe they would start to think about their impact on the environment. Um, and maybe start to think about products as well. So maybe I would choose to, to pick a product that was maybe recycled as opposed to non-recycled. And that was based on you know, just being immersed in this virtual experience. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.